Yo, what is going on guys? McCord here, bringing you episode 3 of the Calgary Flames BGM mode. In the last episode, um, we finalized the deal with Buffalo and we also got Anthony Mantha from the Detroit Red Wings, who will be playing down in the minors this year. Oh, and yes, we can have Devin Setaguchi have a purpose this year, um, and send down Anthony Mantha. Um, wait, yeah, send down Anthony Mantha. Um, and we also send down McGratton. So now, um, out of lines. And we throw in Devin Setaguchi right there. Perfect. I don't think there are any more lines that we have to do. So that way, I don't want Manth to be ruined on the second line this year. Because then his potential might drop to like a low elite or like a medium top six, you know. And then it's kind of like, well, that was kind of a waste. So, we will get into the simulation in this episode. Um, I kind of want to see who else is on the trading block. Um, message center? Yeah. Again, law. Andre Burkikovsky, who's that? I believe I heard of him. I don't think I know exactly what he's all about. Um, I do know Washington is up 3-1 in their series against the Rangers. I saw Washington, Burkikovsky. Good oh man, Jesus. High top sits for it, so he's pretty much a good draw. So we don't need him. He's pretty much a Johnny Goudreau. All right, so we'll go to the calendar. Um, and I believe the scouting report will be coming in a bit here. So we will go November. Yeah, we will go right there to the start of December. All right, so I'm definitely not looking to make the playoffs. Making the playoffs this year will be an absolute stunner. So you know, no matter what happens, the only I don't want to make the playoffs, and then go out in the first round because that way we have a bad draft pick and we didn't go very far in the playoffs so we don't have a cup so it's either we tank like we're kind of doing right now except we just won five and two five to two up against st louis so the scouting report um um i want to do mcdavid but i kind of want to do some other players because we have so many other picks this year um i wouldn't mind scouting a goalie for about a month that wouldn't be too bad but I'm I'm looking for a top five pick from this team this year. Um That's if we get a top five pick with our pick or Buffalo's pick, that would be pretty good. That would be excellent actually. And I believe that the only reason that we won those two games was because of Kyrie Rommel, because he has an eighty five overall NHL starting goalie. Um so you know, I love doing teams like this because you know, you can rebuild and then it's like wow, if they make a playoff push, then it's like, wow, I was not expecting this from this young team. Kind of like how Calgary was this year. You know, going from having, what, the fourth overall pick last year's draft? Drafting Sam Bennett, you know, without, with an out-of-the-blue player like Johnny Gaudreau coming out of the woodworks. Um, you know, it's it's amazing to do a team like this. Um, I believe Toronto was in second for the GM mode vote. Um, what I do with Toronto... Um, you know, they got Kessel and Van Riemsdyk and Bozak. Not a lot of cap space. You know, Bernier and Reimer. Um, you know, you want to... Wow, look at Munchau, one four and 4 You know, you want to develop your youngins, your prospects. Um, like Nylander. Um, who are some other one of Toronto's prospects? You know, you got to trade for some. You know, it's kind of a team where you kind of want to make a playoff push, but you still want to have a backup plan just in case things don't go as planned. Um, and I believe Winnipeg was in third, so you know Winnipeg's kind of an odd team to do. They're my second favorite team in the NHL, um, besides the Oilers. Yeah, I know. Oh, Winnipeg and Edmonton. What the hell? Two Western teams. I kind of don't like each other, but you know I was, I've been an Oilers fan for the past couple years. Um, and then you know once Winnipeg made the playoffs, kind of went on the bandwagon a bit. But I'm still an Oilers fan, and. Uh, Winnipeg, I just like to cheer for if the Oilers aren't doing any good. So we're up to five, um, six, seven, and two star. 
that is 14 points, uh, 14 points in like what, uh, 15 games, that's not terrible I guess, um, you know, but I do want to tank this year, it's kind of semi-tank, you know, top 5, top 10 pick, um, I do want to scout these goalies, so for about a month at a time, um, but you know, I've I've been doing another GM mode on the side, um, with the Ottawa Senators. You know, I got like the first four years, the first overall pick, just to see how some of these players would be. You know, McDavid is like insanely, insanely good. He was like a high elite player. Um, um, there was a guy called Pat Bentley. He was a medium elite. Um, and you know, there were some players like. I believe Jonathan Drouin got up to a high franchise player when he was 26 and was a 97 overall, which is ridiculous. Tampa Bay just becomes absolutely insane in GM mode. You know, it's been like that since NHL 12. Um, you look back at you look back at Superman's NHL 12 GM mode. It's absolutely ridiculous what he does with Tampa Bay. You know, NHL 13, they weren't as OP because you weren't because Dwen, um, he didn't really know. But in NHL 14, when you had Dwen, you had Nikita Kucherov when he had a high potential. You had Stamkos. You had Hedman. You know, you had some players like Panic and Nemesnikov who had four green stars, which is ridiculous. And you know, in three years time, you had Duren who was an 87, 89 overall. You had Kucherov who could play. You had Stamkos who was playing. You know, you had Ben Bishop who, it was, it was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. Um, you know, they're not as OP in this game. Um, just because they kind of toned down Kucherov, but Drouin and Stamkos together is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, so we're coming up on the start of December. We are 10, 11, and 4. I kind of want to see where we are. So we are 6th in our division. Um, Ice and Rain with only 15 points, so it doesn't really look like the Youngs are getting that many points. Um, yeah, 15 points. Monaghan has 14, dear lord, um, Larson has 6, Gaudreau has 11, um, I'm not quite sure if this tactic works, you know, playing all your youngins on the first line, first and second line in the top 6 and seeing if they get good, I'm not entirely sure if that still works, I really hope it does, because if it doesn't, then it's kind of a stupid plan on what I'm doing, but I guarantee Kerry Ramo He's not necessarily doing the best, but yeah, like two point six goals against average with a team like this that we have a bunch of a bunch of prospects. He's holding us in this. Um, so I might switch to Yoni Arito here in a bit. Um, but I do want to see how we're doing um, league wise and see how Buffalo's doing. So entire league. Um. Let's look for Buffalo and out and us. Alright, so I don't see Buffalo and I don't see us. Okay, so we currently have the sixth overall pick and Buffalo would have the third. So it's looking pretty good. Wow, could look at Colorado down there. Um so you're going to put in uh Yoni Arito. Um just because we're winning too many games. And I will also switch Monham with Larson every time that we switch. So every two months we will switch Monham with Larson, just so that they both equally get their um get their uh, center. So Rito for Ramo, I believe it might switch back just because it's like, oh, why are you starting this 78 overall goalie when you have an 85 as a backup, and then EA is just gonna switch them. So. Uh, January, um, so we will go up to the All-Star game, and then see how we are from there. So that's about another two months. Alright, so how many games we have? 3, 6, 9, 10, 13, 15 games this, this month. If we only win 3 of them, I'll be happy. I don't think I've ever been, like, hoping for my team to lose. Um...
Alright, so we're on a nice losing streak here. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, scouting assignment. So we did the OHL and the WHL, I believe. What's that? Yeah. So now we go into the Q. The Q goalies. One month. And there is a guy in the second year that I automatically want to draft. He is a guy that... Um, I know personally, and he is in this game. His name is Mitchell Bombs. Um, I played road hockey with him one time um, with a guy that I know from work. Um, you know, they're best friends. They played on the same team, and he got drafted by the Charlton Islanders this year. And uh, he made the playoffs, and uh, he played in the playoffs. I believe they're out now. Yeah, it's Quebec and Ramuski. Um, so they are out now. His name is Mitchell Bombs. He's a center sniper in this game. He goes undrafted, but I... I guarantee you he will at least be drafted when it is his draft year. So not this year in the McDavid year, but the year after that. You know, he's he's really good in their life. He played for this team called the, the uh, Tradesman, and he played for his high school called Riverview, which is a local high school. And uh, the Tradesman is pretty much... Um, one of the better t one of the best teams in Nova Scotia and Cape Breton where I live um, and he I believe it's about a 50 um, it is a 50 game season I and I believe he almost put up 180 points it is um, ridiculous um, he got drafted I believe it was 10th overall um, by Charlottetown in the queue so um, you know, I definitely do want to draft him in this in this game. It says that he goes undrafted, but I guarantee you, he will be drafted um, by the time the 2016 draft comes by. Um, so we're nearing the end of December here, and we have won one, two, three, four games this year. One more than I want us. Um, lose this game against Emerson. Shit. Um, so we will go to the All-Star game, reevaluate on um, what we want to do, and then we will end off the video there. Um, if you don't know, um, the PlayStation recording, it stops every 15 minutes, so I can't control when it actually happens. I, I can control when it starts, but I can't control when it ends. And, um, okay, so scouting assignment. I'm gonna guess that this video is about 13 minutes long right now. So it might be cut up a bit. Um, so we will uh, scout unite. No, you will do. Uh, yeah, we will do the Q defenseman for one month, and we will check our lines, and then we will wrap up the video. Just because I don't know what this video is at right now. So we go to statistics. We are still sixth in our division. Um, so Monahan leading the team now with the most points. Um, we have uh, Gaudreau who has 15. Um, and where is... Oh Jesus, I don't see him anywhere. Larson, 7 points, Jesus. 2 goals and 5 assists on the first line. Jesus. Not looking too good. Not looking too good, Larson. For a high elite, I had a lot more faith. Um, so we are fifth and Buffalo's fourth. So that's not too bad. Um, that makes me kind of happy about Larson. Um, how far are we from we are from the bottom? Oh god, it's Columbus and Winnipeg. Columbus is pretty far down there. Winnipeg, not so much. Um, the Oilers were, were almost tied with. The Knox are doing pretty bad. Boston is doing pretty bad. Okay, so we will check the progress report and then that will be it for this video. Um, so, where do I check this? I believe it is manage roster. Yeah, progress report. And this shows you if anyone's stats have been modified. So there's been one stat and it was Arnold and he got a plus one in something. Um,. He got a plus one in something, that is it. Uh, yep, that is it. So, hopefully our young it's can turn it around in the next video. Um, you know, I, I'm just hoping that we get two solid